Function, two-year-old Colton Gelding pays second division, $4,084. Sponsored by the Ohio Harness Horsemen's Association. These are the horses. Number one, Scott is a leader. Ken Summer, Sheffield, Ohio. Dan Ader, driving. Number two, waiting for Sam. All Investment Company of Logan, Ohio with David Myers. I'll see if they got a longer cord for that. Number three is JD's Tap Dancer, Mark Winters, Sabina, Ohio, with Ryan Malone. Number four, confirmed winner, D. Miller, T.L. Adams, J. Davis, G.L. Davis of Ohio, Gary Davis drives. Number five, Western Tough Guy, trained and owned by Terry Long, Houston, Pennsylvania, Dave Hawk. Number six is Jason Rain, Lionel Ray Wadiger of Zanesville, Ohio. Trent Tharps in the Sulky. Pacers are all in behind the gate. Ohio Breeders' Championship consolation. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Pace. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Sire so much speed, and you'd think that would be a natural for the uh, no nukes mares to, to be uh, very prevalent in harness racing breeding with that speed. And I think the sport also is going to need some outcross stallions pretty oh, soon. Oh, that's too. a definite because we have a couple Sons of Arts place that are standing now, uh, Western Hanovers. No, uh, you know, you can go right down the line. Sure. You're right, Sam. This time, moving to the winner's circle. Ohio Breeders' Championship Consolation, two-year-old Colton Gelding Pace, the four confirmed winner. D. Miller, T. L. Adams, J. Davis, and G. L. Davis of Ohio. Gary Davis trains and drives. The two-year-old Colton's son, Sam, and a Kimmy B. Taking a lifetime mark, 158. Daniel has a 59. The final quarter, 29 and two. Fifth win in 11, and confirmed a winner now, two in a row in Ohio. 
This is another reason that the uh, Little Brown Junk League in Delaware is so special for people like Gary Davis and the owners of Confirmed Winner. Not a big time driver at the Paramutual Tracks, a county fair type horseman, and this has to be probably the thrill of his life as far as driving. Yeah, he doesn't drive on the same card as uh, John Campbell and Michael Chance very often. I wouldn't think Gary Davis, but he got the job done today. But you know what's fun, especially being out in the winter circle, watching the reaction as the owners come across the track, whether it be an overnight or a stakes event. They're sure. all thrilled. 